10 days and counting to the moment England schools welcome back some of the country's youngest learners. We've had to think really very carefully about how we enable access to the, to the building. To different parts. A school tour like no other, yet the head teacher has no idea how many will come through his door. We've approached it that parents can make their own mind up till the last minute. Five o'clock on Friday evening, they might have a change of heart. And we accept that and we understand that and I totally accept the reasons why that is the case. For all the ways teachers have tried to make their classrooms safe, our poll suggests and suggests strongly that most parents are not convinced. The survey of a thousand parents shows 60% believe it's unsafe to send their children back. Only a third think it's safe. Here's why. 82% are concerned for their child's health and more than half worry about a rise in the number of COVID cases. Life in lockdown isn't all fresh air and fun. There are a lot of fights in my house. Nor is homeschooling as good as the real thing. We brought together seven parents all keen to get back to the old routine. 23 children between them, one crucial question to answer. Which of you will definitely send your children back to school in June? Three will, four won't. A big dilemma. She's nudging me now saying, send me, send me. And that is, you know, a huge emotional weight that I carry. Um, but her health is paramount. I feel a lot of children will have loved ones at home who might potentially be quite vulnerable. So I think it's putting a lot of uh, pressure on 11-year-olds. That's reflected in our poll. When asked directly, will you send your children back, 59% say no, just 35% say yes. Um, Too soon for me. The two teachers on our panel will send their children back. I'm not that worried. Um, maybe that's wrong. I don't know. But I just think we have to take a step forward. That's how I feel. And I just think when I weigh it up, that's the choice I'm going to make. There's lots of big questions, but we need to try and get back to a sense of normality. And with the older children, I think they are able to, to follow the protocols. It's, it's going to be like a military operation. It has to be. Ash is a GP. He'll send his 11-year-old daughter, but still, he has worries. The first thing the youngest ones do is they run to the teacher and give them a big hug. Mm -hmm. How are we going to stop that? So I personally cannot send my child to school and warn her to stay away from her friends when, as adults, we struggle when we go for basic essentials. You need to make sure if you put your arms out... The government doesn't expect all children to keep two metres apart. It says they can be safe in small groups. But many of the reassuring messages don't seem to be getting through. In our poll, 82% of parents said they sympathise with teachers who might refuse to go back. And they say teachers and parents should have the biggest say in whether schools return. That's more than those who name scientists and the government. The message isn't clear because they don't really know um, what's right and wrong in terms of health. They don't know. It's absolute chaos. My daughter's two best friends are twins. One twin might be going one week, the other twin might be going the other week to school. It's going to cause havoc for the parents. And without the parents and that missing confidence, many children will be absent too. John Ray, ITV News.